Daniel, you, you wrote in your recent study um, that Europe has been disengaging um, uh, with uh, Latin America. So how does a re-engagement of Europe with Latin America look like? It's, it's really complicated because you have to compete with China, China's pragmatism. And as, as we spoke, European Union and Europe represents all these values, democracy, the first one. So it's not a pragmatism as a catch-all phrase, but what has to be changed, what I see in this new type of relation, is trying to imitate China, China's uh, non-hierarchical relations. Even though the discourse in Europe, relations have been hierarchical, cooperation has been hierarchical, official development assistance, despite all the presidential declarations over the decades, was from top to down, uh, based on, on a modernization mentality that cannot be, cannot disappear. So a more non-hierarchical relations, and uh, with this desperate cooperation that some country needs, like for example, like Johannes said, Ecuador or Argentina, it's a strong signal that after having reunions with Vladimir Putin. Now, as Argentina's president, decided to come to, to Europe. So, uh, of course, they are looking for cooperation, for money, desperate for money. But this can be seized. But my question is if the European Union as an institution can change this approach to non-hierarchical relations, and uh, which will mean a change in Western official development assistance, <laughs> cooperation, like for the past five decades, how it has been made.